Who would have thought in all of the years of The Oprah Show that Jim Carrey would be one of our greatest teachers? Obviously you, knew, obviously, you knew somewhere inside yourself that you were destined to be famous because I think it's a really a marvelous thing, that visualization thing you did. Do you, mm -hmm. all, do you all read about this or hear this? That you used to go up on Mulholland Drive and park yeah, every night. and visualize seeing yourself as... Yeah, I would visualize... Uh, yeah, I would this visualize, is when you were broke and poor. You know, right, having mm -hmm. directors interested in me and people that I respected uh, um, saying, you know, I like your work or mm -hmm. whatever that is. and. And uh, I would visualize things coming to me that I w wanted or whatever. This and, was in uh, like 1987, 85? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and I had nothing at that time. So it was like, it, but it just made me feel better. It made me, at that time, all it really was for me was kind of making me feel better. I would drive home and think, well, I do have these things. And they're out there. I just don't have a hold of them yet, but they're out there. Okay, so you would get this from what, self-help books or whatever? Yeah, uh -huh. yeah, self-help section. Self-help section. They renamed it the Jim Carrey <laughs> Wing. <laughs> so didn't you write yourself a check? I heard yeah. that you did, is that true? I wrote myself a check for $10 million for acting services rendered, and I gave myself uh, five years, or three years maybe, and, uh, and uh, I dated it Thanksgiving 1995. And I put it in my wallet, and I kept it there, and it deteriorated and deteriorated and stuff. And uh, and uh, but then, just before Thanksgiving 1995, I found out that I was going to make 10 million dollars on. I think it was Dumb and Dumber. Maybe. Dumb and Dumber. Yeah. yeah. So you visualize yourself. Like yeah, yeah. Visualization works if you work hard. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. That's that's that the thing. You, you can't hard. just visualize yeah. and then you know go eat a sandwich. <laughs> I love that. That was such a powerful moment for me because I was not a person who did visualization or thought about my belief system in uh, such a practical way. But I learned a lot from Jim Carrey on that show and he is absolutely correct. If you can see it and believe it, it is a lot easier to achieve it. So thank you, Jim, for reminding us of that lesson. And it doesn't mean that for every person that writes the $10 million check that that's going to happen for you, because so many times people who um, do that process live in the space of wanting and resisting it instead of writing it, visualizing it, seeing it for yourself, and then letting it go. Letting it go, but moving in the direction of working toward it. So nothing happens at first, it's over the process of the time and the effort and the energy that you put into a thing that the energy comes out.